YouTube, it's Lena. I think I got the camera angle a little better this time. Anyways, we are here with my Mini Madness update. So one of the products I lost in the move, I'm hoping it still turns up. And I say that because it would have been empty if I had it because I only had like a tiny little bit of product in the corner. It was my Olay Regenerist Whipped Moisturizer and I'm really mad that I lost that because like I said, it was almost freaking done, so that pissed me off. But um, I haven't. I'm not replace. I'm not adding another product to go back up to ten just yet. <laughs> I'm gonna hope that as we finish unpacking, that it turns up. Pray for me. Anyways, here are the other four uh, empties. Uh, I finished the Stila Glitter and Glow. I actually had to hunt this down because. I actually finished it in March. <laughs> like it had no product left in it. I had to scrape it to get my final use. So that went really quickly. This was the most dried out of the ones that I have. So I'm not surprised that it had like nothing left to it basically. Uh, by the way, I've mentioned this in other videos. I actually use this brush in particular. When I can't get product out because you can't, these don't scrape very well. I take out the stopper and I shove like a little pointed brush of some variety in there. Like these work perfectly for it. I got the, this is a Luxie brush that I got for BoxyCharm. But just like any kind of detail or eyeshadow brush will probably do the trick. Anyways, back where you go. Uh, I also finished the Lancome Tien Idol Ultra Wear Foundation. It was right there and I actually got like several uses out of it and I fell in love with this foundation. Like this, I took this with me when I traveled up to Illinois for my friend's wedding a couple of weeks ago and it was really good. Like it stayed in place all day. And I mean like this was like a 16 hour day <laughs> that I wore this on. So this is the bomb. I now want it. <laughs> Just what I need, another $40 foundation. Uh, this was no surprise. I finished the Verb C Texture Cream. Uh, there really wasn't a lot in here. I think I got like two uses out of it. There might be like a little bit hanging on the sides, but not enough even for my short hair. And finally, to my not shock as well, I can't get any more out of this, even though there is a little bit left, but the Giovanni Hydrate Body Lotion, uh, the scent Cucumber, uh, this packaging is terrible. Like it's really hard and it's really square. So like it, I can't just stick it upside, well, I can't stick it upside down and get a little more out of it, but I still can never get everything out of it unless I like saw it in half. I'm not doing that for, especially like a fairly basic lotion that was a sample or mini, I guess, duh. Anyways, uh, I have technically five products left, but like I said, I can't find one, but I'll show you the other four I still have. This one should be done next month because I finally started remembering to use it. I actually used it today because my hair was really frizzy earlier. So even though I don't normally use it until like the night before I wash my hair to give a little bit of conditioning. Uh, this is the only type of oil I will use before that process. Uh, but it's the Caviar Anti-Aging Omega Anti-Frizz Dry Oil Mist from Alterna. <laughs> Lots of progress. Uh, I went from here all the way down to here. I probably only have like two or three uses left. But yeah, because it has a sprayer, it d diffuses it a lot better. So you can just like spray it all over your hair, kind of work it in a little bit and you're good. Love that stuff. See, next I have the Verb C Spray. Uh, when I started, it was up to here and now we are a little under halfway. I think I can still finish this by next month. I did a lot of traveling this past month. I moved, so a lot of stuff that normally would have been worked on didn't get worked on, like say this. <laughs> I lost this as well, but I managed to find it. This is the Buxom Lip Gloss in White Russian. And my progress on it admittedly sucks, but at least I have some progress on it, just a tiny bit, so. Hopefully by next time, now I've actually found it, I could finally get under that X like I've been trying to do. And finally, before I get into new products, I have my Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I have used this a couple of times, but because I'm trying to finish up another lip balm that stays by my bed, I haven't been working on this solely. So I I figure once I finish that lip balm, this will go fairly quickly, but like it's still pretty down there. 
Maybe I'll actually hit the bottom by next month. Who knows? Now for uh, new products. First, I have the Pure Lease Blue Lotus Balancing Moisturizer. We are starting about right here, I think. Honestly, sticking it in the light, it looks a little lower, but I'm not gonna remark it. I'm just gonna call it there. Even if I find the Ole, like it would only take me a couple of days to use it up. So that shouldn't interfere with me getting progress on that. I did pull out another Stila Glare and Glow. This is in Kitten Karma. Let me get y'all a swatch. I mean, this is the one that I'm sure everybody knows what it looks like, but just in case. See, this one isn't nearly as dried out and flaky. Like just for some reason, these minis dry out relatively quickly. I mean, it's stunning. They're all stunning, but now I have glitter on my finger. Yeah, we are starting about right here. And now that I've scraped a little bit, you could actually see like the window on the inside. I've already popped the stopper out because that just makes it so much easier to get product out when it's starting to dry out and just when it's getting low. So this should still be no problem for me to use up, even though it's a bit higher than my other one. Next, I have the Origins Ginseng Refreshing Face Mask to wake up tired skin. I don't know exactly what this does, so I'll have to look it up, but it is full. I've never used it before. I have another foundation. I think this is my last mini foundation that I have hanging around right now. This is the Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation. I don't think this is going to be a totally correct color for me, but I have foundation mixer, so it's fine. Uh, we are starting right there. And finally, I actually had another lip balm like that was in my makeup bag, so I don't feel bad about putting them in because I use a different lip balm in there. I had a different one. I can't find it right now, but it had like a ton of progress on it. So I was like, yay, I can put this in here and then finish it up, no problem. So I can't put that in here, but this is another one. I bought a set for Christmas. These are the Tarte Lip Quenches, I believe they're called, but uh, my, this is the berry shade. The, I was gonna put the nude shade in here and as soon as I find it, Trust me, it's gonna get worked on, but I'll make a mark in my notebook. But here is where we're starting from. I mean, it's never been used. It is, I think I may have swatched it once and that was about it. I mean, they're like the fresh sugar lip treatments. They barely have any color to them. And I mean, that's the berry one and it barely has anything. But uh, that is it. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, I do really appreciate it. And hopefully I will see you later. Bye.